Hey guys! Welcome to Art Journal Thursday, where we hang out together and get creative every single Thursday here on my channel. A lot of you guys that watched my first art journal video that I posted a few weeks ago said that I should definitely make this into a series and that's why I decided let's do it. I was thinking we could practice different things together like hand lettering, sketching, doodling and having challenges from time to time where we use different things to create art. Most of the times we're busy with school, work or other things and we feel like we have never enough time to just sit down and to create something. If you feel the same and can relate, then this series could be a great inspiration and motivator for you. I know it's hard to just make time for something, but if you think about it, sometimes we browse on the internet or on our phones way too much and we could just use this time to doodle even if just for 5 or 10 minutes to relax and have fun and just have a quiet me time. And I think I've been saying it for months now that I want to create more art, I want to sit down and just paint something, but for some reason I never do that. That's why I thought that this series could be a great way to push myself to get creative on a regular basis and you can join me. You can use this time to just relax for a few minutes and paint or draw with me, whatever we are up to that day. If you ever have any ideas or suggestions what we could paint, draw, doodle or if you have something else in mind for the series, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't noticed yet, I always feature your artwork at the end of each video, so if you want to be featured in my videos, just either tag me or use the hashtag lookmako so I can find your art. You can do that on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, whatever works best for you. In today's episode, I wanted to paint something cute and simple, like cute plants and also add a quote, because I love quotes. Here I'm using watercolors and also a watercolor sketchbook by Hannemühle. I wanted to use it because it has more space than my other notebook I use for my art journal and I wanted to test it out as well because I've never used it before. By the way, if you're interested in what art supplies I'm using in this video, I have everything linked in the description box below so you can check it out. But back to the topic of what we're going to paint today. One of the reasons I chose something nature related is because it's always a great idea for whenever you don't know what to paint or draw. In nature you can find so many beautiful plants, flowers, sceneries, so many different colors and color combinations. And you can just sit down and paint anything you want just by looking outside your window or just by going out somewhere and to paint outside in the park or in a cafe. Or you can even just take pictures of pretty flowers and paint them at home. It doesn't always have to be something super out of this world that you create. There's such a huge variety of things you can paint and sometimes we don't even think about these small things. If you've seen my video about art tips and tricks, one of the ideas I shared with you guys was illustrating a recipe and making it into an illustrated cookbook. And I feel like there are so many other small everyday things that we don't pay much attention to which is kinda sad and I'm actually one of these weird people who gets excited and happy about every little thing like just having a cup of coffee, finding a beautiful stone on the street or just finding a cute funny toy in a kinder surprise egg. As I said before, I believe that happiness consists of small little things and to some people it might sound stupid, but if you think about it, we have so many things around us that we should be thankful for and happy about, but because they become either routines or, or something that we start taking for granted, we kind of become blind to all these small things that make us happy that are around us and we feel like there must be something huge out there or something amazing needs to happen or we can't call ourselves happy. And if you feel happy dancing like a 3 year old while eating a chupa chups and watching cartoons while you're almost 30, there's nothing wrong about it. Which brings me back to the topic of creating art. I think most of us painted or doodled when we were little kids and we didn't really pay attention to what we painted, how it looked, um, we just did it and we actually totally loved it. 
But the older we got, the more self-conscious we became about our art and the more people started telling us that doing art is something for small kids and it's a waste of time. But I believe that we should get back to exactly that, this feeling of just being happy what we create. If you feel like doodling like 3 years old kids, then let's do it. Even if people would think, what is this blob and why are you not rather studying for school? For some reason, getting good grades in art classes is never seen as an achievement because it's just art. It's not math, it's not physics, you basically get good grades for a doodle. And it's kind of discouraging and stupid and I always got annoyed by this fact that people thought that. But if this is something you enjoy, then you should do it and be proud of your work, regardless of what people say. And I hope that my videos will encourage you guys to join me to just start getting creative and have fun. I'm not an expert in painting or drawing, I'm still learning and I think it will be fun to do it together. Even if you just sit down and paint different patterns or just circles and color them in, why not? It's always fun to get creative and to express yourself and I always feel so calm and relaxed after painting or drawing something. But the most important thing here is that we shouldn't be scared to mess up, to create something we are not happy with. It's just a time for us to let go of this fear and to work on ourselves by not worrying and just learning to have fun creating whatever we come up with. So I'm looking forward to fill our sketchbooks and papers with art, to express ourselves and to learn new things together. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you either on Saturday or next Thursday for another Art Journal Thursday episode. Bye!